Hi, it's Dan from IDS. Uh, we're going to do an experiment in a bit of deflecting a beam of beta particles with two magnets. But first of all, we're going to use the three axis magnetic field sensor for in the go direct range with an iPad to actually label the magnets as these are unlabeled ones um, that we have sourced from a website that is very popular, which we will name unknown. I have loaded the graphic analysis app on my iPad. I have got my three axis magnetic field sensor and I've switched it on with the red flashing light. I'm going to connect to it by clicking new experiment, wireless devices, and then selecting my three axis magnetic field sensor. So now we have a graph of magnetic field against time. So for this, I am just going to press collect. We're not really interested in the data on the graph, but if I put it towards the magnet, we can show that that side is north. And if we put it on the other side, we can show it is south. So that side of the magnet is the north, that side is the south. So I'll get these labeled up now. So I'm gonna label this side of the magnet north, and I'm gonna leave the other side blank for when we do our um, deflection of beta particles with a magnetic field. Right, so we've got our setup here. My source has been loaded by my kind technician friend. Um, the magnetic field is parallel to the radiation monitor. Um, so we're now going to set up the experiment. Graphical analysis is loaded. We're going to click new experiment. Wireless devices and connect to the radiation monitor. With this experiment, we are going to do it against the angle that we are rotating the source. So we need to change to events with entry. So you click mode, event based. Let's rename the event by clicking the word event to angle. And then we can put the units in of degrees. And we're going to have a count in full of 10 seconds. So it's going to count over 10 seconds of what the radiation level is. So click done. So we've now got a table of angle and radiation counts and a graph of radiation counts and angle. So to start the experiment, we press collect. And we're already in this default position, so I can press keep. It will now do a count over 10 seconds and count down. And we can enter an angle of zero as it's parallel. And click done. So we had three counts at um, a parallel angle. So we rotate this by 90 degrees. So we can see that north is furthest away from us uh, 90 degrees to the detector and we can already hear that the audio signal is getting a lot louder a lot more frequent I'm going to press keep and it's now going to count for the next 10 seconds the total number of counts I'm going to type an angle of 90 and we got 72 counts I'm now going to rotate it even further so 180 degrees, and then press keep. We can already hear the audio signal has basically disappeared. One hundred and eighty done. And then finally, for completeness, we're going to rotate it the third time to 270 degrees and press keep again. Two hundred and seventy is the angle done. So we can see there that at ninety degrees we had the highest count rate. Um, so you can see where the magnetic beam was being deflected. I am back uh, from completeness. We have now removed the magnets and we're just going to show the count level at each different uh, position um, without the magnets in place. So I'm going to press keep, click create new data set. And then press keep. 
because we're in position zero of zero degrees. Again, we're running it for te a 10 second count. We put an angle in of zero degrees. I will rotate our source. Press keep again. Put an angle of 90 degrees. We will rotate the source again. Put in an angle of 180 degrees. And finally, the fourth position, 270 degrees. So um, we've got our four positions done and we can see we have ranged from 61 to 34 uh, counts over 10 seconds. So roughly speaking with the randomness of radiation, it's about the same. I'm going to click stop. I'm now going to click radiation count and put both data sets together. And if I just bring the iPad up to the camera, You can see with the iPad on the camera that the 90 degree angle was where there was a odd spike. So obviously the deflection of the magnets is working, but when there was no magnets, the radiation was about the same.